Here we go, video 7.3, IUPAC naming. IUPAC. Basically, it's rules for naming compounds. This unit specifically, we're going to talk about rules for naming organic compounds. Okay, step one, we start with the parent structure. Then we're going to add a prefix. Then we're going to add a suffix. Now, here's some organic compounds that we're going to take a look at. So first thing you do is count the longest chain of carbons, and that's going to be the longest continual chain of carbons. If there are side chains, add a prefix. It's going to be in table P. For example, if there's one, right, the prefix was meth, so you put methyl. If there's two in that side chain, eth, so you can use ethyl. There's three in that side chain, prop, so you're going to use propyl, etc., etc. And you're going to add a number to the prefix depending on which carbon the side chain is connected to. And then you add the appropriate, su the appropriate suffix. If it's an alkane, the suffix will be ane. If it's an alkene, the suffix will be ene. If it's an alkyne, the suffix will be ine. Okay, so here, right, if we're going to name this, we're going to count the number of carbons in the chain. One, two, three, four. So if there's four carbons, okay, that's going to be a butte. There's no side chain, so we, we're not adding any prefixes. And there's all single bonds, so it's ane. So this is butane. Here we'll count the carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're going to have to make up our minds. So let's say, because we want, we see, see how we have one side chain here? We want that to be on the lowest numbered carbon as possible. So. We'll say this is carbon number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven carbons. So it's going to be heptane because there's all single bonds. And connected to carbon number two is one methyl group. So this would be two methyl heptane. Here we have one, two, three, four, five carbons. So that's going to be pent. There's no side group, so there's no methyl, ethyl, or whatnot to worry about. But we have a double bond. So this is going to be pentene. And it's starting at the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, or one, two. Oh, so one, two, starting at carbon number two. So this will end up being 2-pentene. Right, let's take a look at a couple more. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 carbons. So it's going to be oct. All single bonds, so it's octane. There's one methyl group attached, and it's attached to carbon number Two. So it's 2-methyl-octane. Next, let's see, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's 9, all single bonds, so it's nonane, N-O-N-A-N-E. One two carbon side chain, so it's ethyl, and it's attached to carbon number one, two, three, four. Or we could go one, two, three, four, five. Nope, four is a lower number, so it's four ethyl nonane. Alright, this one's a little more tricky. Longest chain. One, two, three, four. One or one, two, three, four. Well, we're gonna do the longest chain with the double bond in it. So one, two, three, four. So we'll call this carbon one, two, three, 
four. So this is butene because of the double bond. It's a carbon number one, so it's one butene. However, there's two methyl because there's a methyl group here attached to carbon number two and another methyl group here attached to carbon number three. So it's two, three, di for two, methyl, one, butene. See, it seems really, really complicated, but what's nice about it is as you get to know the rules and you follow them, it, it's not that bad. Four methyl octane. Well, it's octane, so it's going to be eight carbons, and there's all single bonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on carbon one, two, three, four, there's a methyl group. So now I can fill in all my hydrogens. This has one, two, three, so there's room for one more. And there we have four methyl octane. And at each one of these is a hydrogen. I'm only going to draw this once because it takes forever. Okay, three ethyl hexene. So it's hex, so there's six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a hexene. So somewhere in there, there's a double bond. And attached to carbon, one, two, three, there's an ethyl group with two carbons. And now we fill in all of these, and there's room for two more hydrogens. One, two, three, one hydrogen. One, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. It says one, two, three, four. Three ethyl hexene. Three, na, nine. So, non, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, and it's a triple bond at carbon number three. One, two, three, triple bond. And fill in our hydrogens. One, two. See, this already has four bonds, so there's no room for any more hydrogens. This already has four bonds, so there's no more room for hydrogens. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. Three nonine. All right, question time. Two for you to try. Draw the structure for three methyl hexane and draw the structure for four propyl octane. Two lucky winners are going to have to come up and draw those. See you guys in school.